Guys, pause the video, call over your friends, your family, your loved ones, get your snacks ready, get your vapes ready, because today's going to be a very long episode of Shopping with Peg. So sit back and let's shoot the shit together. Here we go. All right, so first things first. Every time we go shopping together, what are we going to do? We are going to go to Got Smoke first, because these are the guys who shop all day long and find different kinds of deals out there for us. So let's take a look at what's going on. Top deals of the week. Uh, 14500 Nemesis Clone, Two-Tone and Copper. What the fuck is this thing? Okay, so it says over here, with all the 26650 mods being released lately, it's nice to see that uh, bigger isn't always better. No, it's not better. Actually, they're both shit. 26650 mods are shit, and, and 14500 mods are shit. Why are they shit? Here's why. Because neither one of them fucking support a kick. Okay, because... When, once you go over the 26650 mods, right, the inner tubing is so thick that the kick evolved. They haven't come out with a big fat one yet. So you're going to need, like, you know, uh, to go to, like, maybe uh, some kind of fabrication shop where, like, you know, they make uh, custom motorcycles or something like that and have them install a ring for you so that, like, you know, you can have a custom kick ring to place inside of your 26650 and then shit will work, you know what I mean? But there's no way that you're going to dumb it down and get it smaller so that it'll fit into the 14500. At the same time, I don't recommend 14500 batteries because you need... Um, in order to use a kick, it says specifically, please, please, please use IMR batteries. And in the 14500 series, it's very hard to find decent batteries. So don't go with this stuff because you're not going to be able to power this stuff properly. So dumb idea. Definitely dumb idea. Let me tell you something real quick, people, okay? As far as the batteries is concerned, all right, we are on the brink of... If you guys are around by age, you understand that when we were kids, we used to watch VHS. After VHS died, something strange happened, okay? Things came out. It was DivX. It was uh, VCDs. It was DVDs. We didn't know who was going to win until Panasonic threw a whole bunch of money and said, fuck this, we're going to make the DVD win. And then everything came out on DVDs. For you kids out there, you're all like used to like you know DVDs, the Blu-rays and stuff like that. But, right, that's exactly what I'm talking about. At the moment... Right, with things going on as far as the batteries are concerned, uh, is 26650 going to be the wave of the future? I don't know because it all depends on how they improve the battery chemistry of things. You know what I mean? Are they going to continue with the 18650 uh, size? Are they going to, you know what I mean? They could have made like a 14500 awesome kick ass battery and then you know we just all have like smaller mods and whatever but no that is the form factor that you know is mainstream and they're going with right now and we have no we have no choice but to follow it like sheep because if you want like you know all the best features all the best you know the the, the freedom of it then you have no choice but to go with this form factor you know what i mean if you go off on your own with the 2650 uh the 26650 sizes right now you're kind of on your own at the moment and you're just taking a gamble of whether or not it's going to be the standard you see what i'm saying so careful with that guys better to you know stick with <laughs> the mainstream for now until shit is confirmed then go ahead and jump over. Or you might be wasting money and you might be taking a gamble with more than just money, okay? Very careful with that. All right, so after this, um, favorite beast gender as old shit, who cares? Um, Aspire Nautilus. Oh, Aspire Nautilus, I need to talk about it real quick, okay? So remember last time I said that I'm going to Aspire Nautilus, blah, 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 try to rebuild it, things like that. Uh, I will get into more detail about that later, but... The one thing that I want to say about the Aspire Daughter list that's bad, 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 okay, is that this thing, clearly it is a newbie device and it is good for newbie devices. Meaning what? Keep this thing on your SVDs, on your MVPs, on your like regulated different kinds of devices and stuff like that. Why? Because the pin at the bottom over here is spring loaded, okay? And that's not always a good thing. I'll tell you what. Because different mechanical mods out there, okay? I'm not saying, like, why would you ever put this thing on a mechanical mod anyways? But let's just, uh, for, 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 for the sake of argument, okay? Many mechanical mods have a smaller firing pin outside. And certain mechanical mods, like an F-16, has a very thick firing pin. So what happens? If you screw this thing down all the way flush and it's touching it, it's pushing it a, a, 
uh, all the way to the top, right? The pin, the positive pin, is going to make contact with the positive and the side body negative all at the same time. This is going to cause a hideous short. Your mod's going to flare up to a thousand degrees, okay? And it's just very, very dangerous. You see what I'm saying? But with a regulated device, once you screw it down, okay, it don't, first of all, it only screws down so much. So it's it makes more sense that the pin on the tank is adjustable as opposed to having an adjustable pin on a regulated device or a box mod or something like that, okay? And if there was a chance of a short or anything, then the item just wouldn't fire. So either way, you're not going to experience that. But for the rest of you guys who are, you know, into like the mech bot stuff or whatever, oh, very dangerous to play around with a Nautilus on like, you know, a hardcore con high conductivity device, okay? Be very, very careful with that. I, I really have to point that out. This applies to basically all atomizers. I remember there was a couple of questions that said to, to me, said, Peg, can you tell me what is a shit device? Okay, here's one thing that is a shit device right away, right from the get-go, okay? At any time, okay, uh, let's say, for instance, other than the Nautilus, Aga T3, also a piece of shit device, okay? Even though I own an Aga T3, I'll tell you that right away. Why? Because the pin at the bottom, it moves. This is exactly what I'm talking about. If it moves, it pushes upwards, it recesses in, is a very high chance that, you know, the whole circuit is going to uh, complete over there, meaning that, like, the positive and the negative are, are going to touch, and that's going to cause that hideous, hideous short that's going to flare up in your hands, you know what I mean? I mean, shit is not going to explode or anything like that, but it will turn into a fucking thousand degrees, okay? It's very hot, very scary. Don't fuck around with that, okay? Now, the the thing is that, like, on my channel, um, I do have a fix for the Aga T3. Uh, basically, you could take uh, the uh, uh, a gasket from a Kanger coil and place it inside of the Aga T3, and then it'll prevent it from, you know, rising up. And basically, it's a fix towards that. But the original uh, gaskets and, you know, the stuff that came with the Aga T3 was not enough. And a couple of times, this shit shorted out in my hand, and it was fucking hot. So, yeah, careful of things like this, okay? You, you, you're going to learn that, like, the hard way. A lot of times, when we're out, like, shopping for different items, okay, it uh, doesn't matter what it is, different kinds of atomizers, things like that, okay? You really can't tell by these photos over here uh, whether or not this thing is going to move. This one, that actually doesn't look too bad. If you stare at it very closely, right, you see that it kind of has, like, uh, a rubber seal around where the positive pin is, okay? So what happens is that, um, yeah, this thing could move, but basically you kind of need, like, a chisel and a hammer to make it rise, you know what I mean? Uh, your average uh, pressure force is not really going to move it anywhere, okay? Steam turbines are like this, the Bliss is like this, um, what else, uh, the Kraken is like this, so those things are still viable, it's, it's okay, you know? Um, okay, uh, back to uh, Got Smoke real quick. So other than this, I got T3. What else is going on? Uh, CE9 clearomizers. Blah, 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 blah. Right. Okay. Whatever. Anyways. Um, TOBH clone. Okay. A uh, lot of lot of talk. A lot of yep yep about this this item. Basically, you know. Um, basically, it is a kick-ass patriot. However, the original uh, TOBH clone. Uh, I'm sorry, TOBH Atomizer, okay? The uh, the deck and the negative posts are all one piece, all right? And what's irritating me about, like, a lot of the clone uh, photos is that they're not really showing us a bird's-eye top view of, you know, is this all really, you know, one piece? This one looks close. This one looks close that, that it's just all one piece. You know what I mean? And that's what made the TOBH club a, a very good. Because um, you know how, like, a lot of posts inside of uh, drippers and atomizers, things like that, they could potentially turn on their own because they're all force-fitted in? Well, because this is actually part of the deck, you know what I mean? It's better than, like, if it was welded on and 
so like you know it's not going to turn you know what i mean those are the little things that tells you like you know qual uh, quality over like another item um over here adjustable copper pin the copper pin i like very much uh, but what we don't know is that like you know how well this thing is that like you know uh if you adjust the copper pin out a little bit, you put it inside one of your mech bods, you twist it up, is it going to rise over time? You know what I mean? Especially with every time you hit the fire button. These are all like a little bit more questionable. Okay. Another thing, right? I have to address and get out of the way about fast tech, right? Fast tech, look, devil is in the details and it's all about like if you paid attention to it or not if you ignored it like an asshole then that's what you are you're an asshole so it says right stock ships in five business days did you pay attention to this so don't give me some bullshit about like oh when you buy from fast tech things fucking take forever it's because certain things says that it ships immediately and there are plenty of happy people who got their stuff you know within like a week or two weeks depending on where they live some people in the uk you know a little bit sooner some people in the, in the states within two weeks and it's not a problem um, certain things will say it takes up to 15 days. Like for instance, last time I ordered the, uh, the Hanamon and it says up to 15 days. So it's going to, I'm going to be sitting around 15 days for nothing. And then, you know, another 10 to 12 days, uh, for, for them to ship from China all the way to the United States. So I'm roughly sitting on like maybe a month, you know what I mean? But I'm aware of that. And that's why I'm not bitching about it and making like, you know what I mean? It, it has nothing that you... It, it makes it me sound as if like you know I'm an advocate for for fast tech. There's nothing. No, it's not that. It's because I fucking read and that's what it says and I knew what to expect. Same thing with the discussion area and a lot of like you know the photos. You need to pay attention to all this stuff because again they will not lie to you, right? Like it says over here, 21 points. That it, they won't lie to you about stuff. Guys, you want to laugh? Let's laugh at somebody, okay? Everybody together, watch this guy. Uh huh. Patriot clone fa uh, from Fast Tech Review. What does he say? Let's listen to his, th this chap real quick. On all of your 22 devices, devices mods, mods. Um, it, it is, is just, just a single, single air, air hole. hole. Um, uh, but the, actual, the, actual, the real, the real version, version has actually got, got two air holes. holes. Um, um, no, it's not the real version has two air holes or the it's it's. It's you, dude. It's not... Oh, Jesus Christ, man. We went through this last time, didn't we? Like, the Patriot. Bam. Right here, right? So, pretty sure he went ahead and bought this one. Right? Here we go. Single air hole over here, right? And I told you guys that if you're going to get this son of a bitch, get this one. The one where, like, the hole and, you know, the, uh, the engraving of it, it's on the side so that you know it's going to be two fucking air holes, okay? Who the fuck buys a three prong dripper atomizer and just says one air hole is fine you know what i mean if why don't you just go get an igo l that it's it's meant for one air hole this is exactly what i'm talking about okay don't do that shit and then you know come back up be like oh you know fast tech's garbage blah, blah, blah. no they showed you they, they they told you this they've they tried many fucking different ways but you you fucking ignored it, and you went ahead and bought it anyways. And this part is just hysterical. Hey, great review. I just subbed. I, I don't know. It's, what? I want to listen to this guy? Anyways, not to be such a douche about it, but still, you know what I mean? This is what's going on in the world. And people, like, you know, just passing the buck and throwing the blame and whatever. And that's not right. It's absolutely not right, okay? That's the whole purpose of this shopping series. So that, like, I'll be here and I'll guide you guys. And I'll be like, look, pay attention to this. Pay attention to that. If you guys go on and ignore shit anyways, then, you know, that's you. I'm going to lead you guys to the mountain. I'm going to tell you guys how to climb it. I'm going to tell you, like, what the dangers are along the way. You all should be able to make it to the top, no problem, okay? So let's get back to the fun. Oh... Uh, what we do is that we click on new products and then we scroll down and then see what's going on. Nothing really too interesting over here. Let's check out what happened on May 9th. May 9th over here. Okay. <clears throat> this one's a little bit laughable. Okay. 
<laughs> when you run out of ideas, I guess you just kind of bring back shitty ideas and try to improve on it or something like that. But there's a lot of things that you have to watch out for, okay? Now, some of you out there, some of you out there might still be like, I like cartomizers. Okay, fine. This is a dual cartomizer, shoves it into a dual chimney, you know what I mean? Looks kind of cool, double barrel, blah, 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 whatever, but... Here's the reason why you should don't buy, don't buy, because it's chrome motherfucking brass, okay? What is the problem with chrome brass? Chrome brass is brittle. That's it. That's all you need to know. Never mind the fact that, like, you know, because um, you know, right, like, like if you, it, any of you guys out there with rims and stuff, you know what cheap chrome is, right? It, it, when you go through the seasons and, like, you know, it's summer, it's winter, it's summer, it's winter, expand, expand, and then go shrink, expand, shrink, the chrome is going to, to wear off, and, you know, we inhale the, the shit, so never mind the chrome itself or whatever, the whole material itself is brittle, and, you know, fiddling around, like, twisting it, or, you know, applying a screwdriver or whatever, a lot of stuff could snap and break, don't fuck with the chrome brass stuff, try your best to stay away from it, as well as... It's already bad enough that it's brass. They chrome over it. So what happens when you chrome over brass? You reduce conductivity even further. It is the same thing as we were talking about with like PVD coating and stuff like that. Um, some of you guys might be a little bit anxious to see what's in my shopping cart uh, this time. We will get to that later. Later, okay? Um, so let's move on, okay? Uh, let's see. This thing really wasn't worth talking about because dual coil bottle, blah, 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 it's, it's basically an Aerotech knockoff, whatever, with, with an interesting drip tip. Not a big deal. Uh, May 8th, let's take a look at this. All right, um, here's some of the stuff that I'm talking about. Okay, all right, first of all, some of you might be very interested in this particular bot because it is everything. It is a, uh, a hybrid. Hybrids hit hard. That is the purpose of a hybrid. However, not this one. I'll tell you what. It says right here, right? We have to go ahead and pay attention to things. Number one, um, <clears throat> it says, uh, where are you? Stainless steel contacts. Ooh. That's not great, is it? Because look, throughout this whole channel, we've always been talking about silver contacts. Copper contacts, copper, silver plated copper contacts. Like, like that's what we want to look for in like, you know, that performance and that con conductivity. I said it's going to be okay to go with stainless contacts, right? All you have to do is just like rebuild everything so that like, you know, it's going to hit hard again. So it's really not about like this thing hits like a train. It's what you build into it. You got to put a big motor in this thing. So basically, I think that you could still buy this thing, but... Uh, if you ain't got 20 ga 26 gauge wire or better in your pocket, uh, don't mess around with it yet. Go buy the 26 gauge first and then go ahead and do this. Uh, yeah, 24 gauge is okay too, but I'm not an advocate for ridiculously low ohms, okay? Uh, I'll say this right now, okay? Just, just make a note of it. I do not recommend any one of you to go past... 0.2, okay? 1.9 pushing it at most, okay? Other than other than that, do not go, like, like once it says 1.8, uh, fuck it, take the whole shit apart and <laughs> rebuild your shit, okay? Don't do that. Try your best to stay 2.0, uh, I'm sorry, 0.2 or higher. What am I saying? 0.2 ohms or higher, okay? Uh, 0.19 at best. Okay, so, uh, Right, now we need to talk about the problem, okay? Now this thing comes in a black version. So certain things that we could look for that will make, uh, make stuff okay. Like for instance, this photo over here, right? If you stare at it very closely, very closely, okay? You can see that like, okay, the threads are coated, it's painted. However, when this cap screws down, if this part touches this brass part, then it's not so bad because the uh, 
other than the the the, the pins, the top pins, uh, the rest of the body that where the circuit is completed is internally and it's all brass. It seems to be okay, but it's not. I'll tell you why it's not because. This thing right here, right, in order for this to happen, it has to be in a scrunched down mode for the 18500. Once it's in the extended mode of the 18600, you look at the other stuff over here. See, it's painted. It's painted. It's all fucking, there's paint every fucking where. And it's going to affect conductivity. It's that fucking simple. Okay. Um, something new to... Uh, be very, very careful of. Okay, I'm gonna try to find it real quick. Um, let's, you know what? Let's just, let's just find it right now. Let's just find it right fucking now. Um, what was it? Panzer. What we were talking about last time? Okay, I forgot to point this out in the last um, uh, shopping uh, series. Okay, PVD coating. What is PVD coating? Does anybody know? Fuck man, I'll tell you right now. I don't know. All right, and that really annoyed me, really, really fucking annoyed me. So I went ahead and tried my best to go uh, look up what the fuck is PVD coding because PVD coding is everywhere now. It's going to be the next shit, but is it safe? I don't know, and nobody's really saying anything. Sure, there's a cool little video over here. See PVD in action, and basically it just looks like... It looks like a disco going on inside. I don't know what the fuck is going on. But uh, a lot of the different finishes and stuff that they do, okay, uh, I thought was pretty interesting. Some for rims and some for whatever. But one of them was a, um, let me see, was there a, uh, there was one that I saw. Oh, yeah, yeah, here we go. View the gallery, right? Uh Somebody did the engine block cover for a Viper. So, I have no idea if this thing will hold. Because, I mean, if it holds and it can sustain this kind of heat or whatever, and, you know, it's not releasing any chemicals or anything like that, then I would assume that it's safe to vape. But there's no, there's no guarantee of this shit. You know what I mean? Different questions over here and the frequently asked questions about PVD coding. It, it doesn't say anything about that. It gets even more complicated over here when you go uh, look at like the PVD processes and stuff. And then it says arc evaporation sputtering, iron, iron plating, enhanced sputtering, right? And then you just go read about these things or whatever. And it, it's one is no, it, it doesn't help. It doesn't fucking help because it doesn't answer your question about like, you know, when you vape with this thing, does it release, does it, you know, th this or that. You're going to see a couple of, like, really uneducated asshole things in the discussion area where some people are like, well, you've been, va you've been smoking analogs for, like, 20 years. I mean, what's the difference now? What do you mean, what's the difference now? I got off of fucking analogs because I'm sick of putting, like, junk inside of my body. And... I'm just going to go right back to it. That By that logic, I might as well just go back to analogs. Well, what the fuck are you talking about? I really hate discussions like that. And and there there was a whole bunch of them in there. So, again, sometimes the discussion is going to be excellent. Sometimes you, you're going to have some trollish things. And you, you just got to be patient and dodge that. But uh, that doesn't mean that this is not the best site to still look around and shop around at. Why? Because what other site do you know that's just... Blah, like a whole bunch of products like every single day going up. You know what I mean? Okay, so other than this, let's move on. Let's uh, go over to uh, May 7. Let's see uh, what's happening here. Uh, not too much. Still with the Stingray. I don't know. Honestly, it was a big deal about the Stingray. It's okay. It's okay, uh, you know? But the thing is that, like... Uh, the reason why I constantly recommend you guys to, like, the Nemesis and the M16 is because... I haven't seen a better mech bot after that. You know what I mean? You tell me what's a better mech bot. Uh, people who say, like, well, Chi Yu is really good. Right, but that's just comparable at best. It's not a better one. You know what I mean? Well, what about, like, you know, the, the Panzer and the and the Biomech and the Vanilla and the... And the you, you know what I mean? Uh, you, you know, as opposed to, like, an M16 uh, the, and, and, and uh, adjustable mech. 
um, uh, adjustable telescopic mechbot, right? How compared to the, the magneto uh, things like that? Uh, it, no, it's not better. It's not better than a fucking M16. I don't, I don't know what fucking people are talking about. Sure, you could go ahead and buy those because that's just your preference, personal preference because you think it looks prettier than an M16. But uh, performance wise, as far as like conductivity and material and things like that, no, it's not better. And that's why up until now, I have not said to you guys, go get a Hades, go get a fucking big nasty because I don't think you should. Um, let's take a look over here. There, there was one thing that I thought was really, really interesting. But uh, we'll get to it real soon. Here we go. Where is it? Where is it? Sorry to waste your time, guys. Um, but it was somewhere in here. You know, fuck it. I'll just manually. Let's just find it right now. Um, there is a Hades. Uh, the battery converter and place of uh, whatever and then you can buy it all together okay um do i approve of this one yes and no yes and no um these things to me are stupid because i i i, I am not an advocate for 18350 or 18500 batteries i think i think they're pointless um 18650 for this you know what i mean i guess it's okay you know what I mean? Uh, in the sense that, like, look, you want to go ahead and have this thing because you're a big guy and you want the weight and you want the size of it in your hand, right? But at the same time, we're not sure if the world is going to, you know, 26650 yet, or are we going to still continue the 18650 ride, right? So, therefore, uh, yeah, I would probably go something like this so I could sort of still be in between worlds and then if 2650 uh 26650 takes off i'll be like oh well i already have a mech mod ready and if it doesn't well it's not going to be junk uh that's the only thing i'll point out so, okay so uh let's go over to my shopping cart real quick <clears throat> all right variable voltage kick module for mechanical mods okay i'm going to intentionally buy this one because i want to see if i can BMX this thing like if I could do some freestyle cool stuff about whatever if I can crack something with it I will share it with you guys if not then it's exactly what I thought it was going to be it will basically make your mech mod into an ego C twist it's eight bucks so you know let me get it let me find out let me see what's going on um the Russian 91 is just you know for the sake of buying it for a friend. It's not really for me. That's just something else. Uh, connection parts for K-Fun. This is exactly what I'm talking about, right? Uh, there's two types of connections, okay? Uh, there was a, a four-piece one, and this is a two-piece one. So I bought the four-piece one the first time. I'm just going to add the two-piece one so I have both types uh, just for the sake of, like, you know, in the future, if I was to recommend so somebody, like, you know, the, the four-piece one is better than two-piece. You, you know what I mean. All right. Um, the next one, the um, the Segeli variable, uh, uh, this one, right? Okay, this is the better one. Okay, when they first came out with the kick knockoff, right? Um, it could only do like between like I don't know, like seven to twelve watts or something like that. But now finally, it could do like the five to fifteen watts. But it says over here, right, that like you know, atomizer resistance one point five. But then low resistance protection, blah, 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 between 1.0. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this thing just for the sake of confirmation of how low the ohms it can handle. You know what I mean? Because I know a lot of you guys, like, you know, some of you guys have no problems forking up 40 bucks for the, the original Evolve Kick 2. And some of you guys, you know, still want that kick function, but 40 bucks is, is, is a little bit, you, you know what I mean, out of, out of range because... Uh, you with the 30 bucks that you saved like you can still get a, like, you know, a ton of juice and stuff And you'd rather just spend the nine dollars on it then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Get this one for the sake of you know confirming it for the rest of you guys who you know what I mean want to keep a lower budget, okay um, What else did we talk about? Oh, okay, uh, Prometheus tank. Um, I think this tank is pretty so 
Originally, this thing, I think it was released in PMMA, and now it's finally released in class. So, you know, I stand by what I say. I will not buy something if that shit comes in plastic, because it's motherfucking 2014, and there's no reason why. You know what I mean? Uh, fuck you, manufacturers. You know, how expensive is glass anyways? Why can't you give it to me in glass? There is no reason why you can't give it to me in glass. So... Like, I'm not buying it, you know what I mean? Whatever, like, oh, it needs to be plastic because, yeah, sh shut up, okay? It needs to be in glass because people have wisened up to shit. The reason why we vape is because we're tired of putting junk inside of our bodies, okay? So don't, don't cheap out, right? You cheap out, then you're just going to get boycotted. <clears throat> All right, so, uh, yeah, this one, Prometheus Tank. Let's see what the big deal is. Um, and then lastly, okay, uh, Brass Monkey. Brass Monkey uh, is finally in a clone version. Brass Monkey has been around for a really long time, guys. So this is not anything new. It's just finally got cloned, okay? <laughs> uh, but what's fun about this one, okay, is and, and you, you need to be careful about it, okay, is that, like, silver and gold does two different things, Okay? The gold one is like, you know, the single whole simple nonsense, right? So that like, you know, if you build like, you know, just single coil, blah, 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 whatever, right? The silver one over here, this is the one that has like, you know, the adjustable hole, blah, 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 all that stuff, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and get this one and um, I hopefully it's going to have it on both sides, okay? And it seems that way seems that way because look there's a hole over here and then when you go over here there's a there's a hole on this side too where the logo is and then there's a hole over here without the logo right so this is what i'm saying like keep your eyes wide open when you go ahead and shop on fast type okay so yeah uh i put this one in my shopping cart let me see if there's anything else to go over right oh Something about batteries I want to, like, you know, just put out there, okay? I don't know everything about it yet, but, uh, lithium air. You're like, what the fuck is lithium air? What is he talking about? Okay, uh, lithium air is a battery that, um, is the next thing. It's, it's, it's the next uh, of it. Let, 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 me, let me try to... Where, where, where did I find this? Um, did, I, did I find this? Uh, some, some shit like this? Was it some shit like this? Oh. I gotta, I gotta dig it up. But I found some images, right? And then they were like, you know, something of an 18650 size, right? And it is the next technology. Okay. Um, the batteries come in a couple of different kinds of chemistry, okay? Um, I'm going to get into this in, I think, a cloud chasing one, because there's not much to talk about cloud chasing other than, like, conductivity, so I'm going to get into it on there. Um, what happens is that batteries come in different kinds of ke chemistry, right? IMR, ICR, INR, okay? The I stands for the lithium ion, okay? It's the... It, it doesn't stand for something I. It stands. It actually stands for L. Uh, the M is manganese. The C is cobalt, and the N is nickel. So the next version of lithium batteries is going to be the air version, right? And um, it's supposed to be for um, for cars, but I did see some 18650 form factors of it. You know what I mean? And it said something like, you know, 10,000 ma per something cell and whatever. I don't know what the fuck that means yet, okay? And how many amps, how many blah, blah, whatever. That doesn't necessarily mean anything because, like, it's very possible that uh, sometimes they might come out with a new kind of battery chemistry where, like, you know, the ma is going to be off the charts, but it didn't increase the amperage. Sometimes the amperage increases, but then the ma does you, you know what I mean? The chemistry... Uh, can do many different things. So maybe it'll be like a ridiculously long lasting battery, but we'll still need to use it in a regulated device in order to crank the son of a bitch up as opposed to, you know, it 
naturally having like really high amperage so we could just go ahead and slap it inside you know of mechanical devices and just fire it up like that. so uh i don't know yet but these are like you know those those future next level shit that like you know i'm, I'm researching on and um once I find out, you guys will be the first to know because you guys subscribe to me. So uh, hopefully this has been another fun episode for you guys. And uh, I'll see you when we do the next one. Okay, take care.